Greetings. Happy Wednesday. Or at least it is when I'm going to record this and stuff. Let's open a brand new monitor in the box. This is a ViewSonic OptiQuest Q71. 17-inch monitor from the year 2001 the, with the features that I want. 1280 by 1024, 87 hertz refresh rate, 0.23 millimeter horizontal dot pitch. ViewSonic makes pretty darn good tubes. At least I remember them being good. I haven't actually used one in a long time, but I want to try it out Ugh. and uh, use it for various projects. Look at all these awards that it won. Designed for Windows 2000 Professional and Windows 98. Awesome. And yeah, I bought this um, new because, you know, it's such a hard thing to find someone that's going to sh ship like a, a CRT properly. And so a new inbox one is going to be packed properly. I know that, and it's one reason I'm happy to pay a little bit more for this. This was $79. Might think that's too much, but I don't really care because I'm going to use it. Mmm. So here we have the base. <laughs> it's nice to have. I've actually come across a few like used CRTs of the era that uh, I just don't have the base. I don't know who would take it off. You kind of need it. Ah, see, nice form-fitting packaging. This is pretty much what you have to try to mimic when you're shipping CRTs, and I'm just sick and tired of, you know, ordering a nice CRT and having it arrive completely busted, which is very easy to do, even if you're very careful with packaging. You can see even this very sturdily made bit of styrofoam and packaging, it broke. So it was smashed in the front of the box during shipment. That would have not worked well with lesser packaging. Okay, looks like we have some stiff here. Oh, it has some software. Nice fresh power cord, that smells perfect. ViewSonic monitor installation disc for 95, 98, me and 2000, which is exactly the range of computers that I'm gonna be using this with. And here's the user guide, which is just like, uh, you know, things you can do. It's a very limited warranty with these. This was the OptiQuest line of ViewSonic monitors. The parts, I believe, were all the same, pretty much but uh, they were a budget release because they didn't include things like extended warranties and like ViewSonic parts and repair services. Yeah, they cheaped out. Monitors themselves though, well, they're still ViewSonic. Mmm, look at this beast. Oh, it's wonderful. That's a sweet looking CRT. Mmm, and again, that smells brand new and beautiful. Mmm, fresh VGA cable. I am all about that base, man. Let's, uh, ooh. What does this do? What a weird thing. That seems utterly pointless, but maybe I'm just missing it. That sticker is about the only indication that this thing is over 16 years old. Not yellowed yet, which is nice. The sticker is yellowing though. Okay, I guess that's what that thing comes off for because now it makes it a little easier to get on there. Awesome. Ugh, this thing is like 50 pounds or something. Just check, it is uh, 40 pounds, 18 kilograms. <laughs> wow, that's a 17 inch monitor. I'd love to get like a 21 inch. There's some amazing Sony Trinitrons. Uh, but man, those are really hard to find now. I mean, you know, unless I run across one at a thrift store, but that's just like pretty much never gonna happen. I've given up on finding computer CRTs and local thrift stores. I find them occasionally when I go to Greensboro. There's a value village that still takes them in, but that's like the only place in the state that I've come across. Man, let's turn this beast on before I hook it up to anything. Mmm. Yeah. CRT sounds. Nice. No signal. Of course there's not. I might be able to not do anything until I plug anything in, but that's okay. Let's plug something in. I'm gonna plug in my somewhat nasty looking these days. Uh, Windows 98 capture machine here, just a generic beige thing that uh, is very much turning yellow. I gotta do something about that. This thing is getting gross. It used to be that color just a couple years ago. It has really gotten yellow over the past few years. IBM Model M, standard friggin' two button HP mouse, and some speakers because I like sound. And got the wonderful monitor plugged in there. Yeah, I actually want to repaint this whole thing. Like, I just want to paint this computer, like, I don't know, green or something. 
That is looking nice. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I do have a, a nice, awesome gateway CRT in there. Uh, it has a Sony Trinitron tube in it, which is also fantastic in a 17 inch. Um, it's very similar to this spec wise. You know, it's used. I don't know what kind of history it has and all right, Windows, see what you get. Man, those scan lines are looking beautiful. Man, that's looking good. At least it is to me. I don't know how it's looking at the camera or to the camera because I'm not, I'm not looking. I can degauss it. Yes, degauss. Sweet. Okay, so that shows resolution and uh, refresh rate. So let's max that thing out to, um, <laughs> can it go 1600, 1200? It didn't say it could, but we'll try it. Out of range, yeah, okay, well that makes sense. I think it said what, 1280, 1024? Let's try that. Oh yeah, dude, that's a sharp 1280 too. Wow, that looks funky even to me. I know it looks probably weird on the camera, but um, anyway, that refresh rate, what the heck is it? Uh, that's 60, but I would love to get it up to 85. Maybe that's what the disc is for. It's looking good. There's a bit of a weird little artifact up there. It's like a little red streak, but yeah, that is wonderfully sharp. Man, I remember looking at these monitors in Best Buy and Circuit City back in the day and just being like, holy crap, the resolution is insane. All right, let's try out that uh, that disc. I wasn't gonna even mess with it, but maybe it'll be able to give me more options as far as being able to adjust the refresh rate on the monitor because it just sees it as plug and play. Don't mind me just messing with the color temperature on my camera. Ooh, that looks better. Yeah, that's, that's a little closer to what I'm actually seeing. So, okay. Uh, install Shield Wizard is complete. There we go, OptiQuest Q71-6. Sure why it's asking me for that <laughs> location. It already had it in there, but there it is. All right, cool. So that's the monitor. Uh, well, okay, so we can only choose 60 Hertz on this uh, resolution, which makes sense. If I put it to something more sensible, like 1024 by 768, She'll be able to get a higher refresh rate. There we go, 75, that's not bad. There we go. Oh, that looks much better already. Oh, so much easier on the eyes. Okay, I'm ready to try out a game on here. And Actually, Jazz Jackrabbit 2 might be interesting to see. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to go any higher than 640 by 480 on this one, but that is okay. Still looks lovely. Oh, that looks glorious. Man, that's some good color. Oh, <laughs> CRTs make me happy, especially new old stock ones, man. This is wonderful. I'd say this is at least on par with that uh, gateway in there with a Sony tube. If not a little better, I'm liking the colors by default a little better. I haven't adjusted the color at all, temperature or, you know, brightness, contrast or anything. It's looking delightfully rich. Although of course you're seeing it through a camera, through a YouTube video. So it's not like, <laughs> maybe it looks like garbage. I don't know. My apologies for that 75 Hertz headache inducing footage from a moment ago. It looks amazing in person because, you know, higher frame rates are nicer on the eyes, but uh, it looks like garbage in a camera and that's just how that works because the shutter speeds, so whoops. But anyway, thanks for watching this random ramble of me unboxing a random thing, which is not that random because I chose it on purpose. But if you enjoyed this, then I, you know, great, but <laughs> this is not what I typically do. On the other hand, it's just something that I wanted to upload here outside of my normal upload schedule because it's exciting to me. I love old monitors, especially when they're new. I don't get too many chances to open uh, brand new computer monitors. So anyway, back to the normal LGR scheduled programming. Friday and then Monday and then Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday. And then if I decide to do anything else like this, I guess I will. Thanks for watching.